वेलकम टू आवर चैनल बाय बाय गुलाब सर फॉर विजडम कोचिंग सेंटर एज ए पार्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज बॉडी फ्लूड एंड सर्कुलेशन एज यू नो दैट दिस चैप्टर अर्लियर इट वॉज सेड एज सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इट इंक्लूड्स ब्लड इट्स कंपोजिशन ब्लड वेसल्स एंड हार्ट स्टडी ऑफ एनाटोमी ऑफ हार्ट so one after the other that blood blood vessels and heart we shall learn blood as a liquid connective tissue that help to carry all the necessary components from one part to another part of the body as we know that blood help in transport of oxygen from our lungs to all cells of the body and collect carbon dioxide from all tissue to the lungs to exhale as well as blood also collect waste material from all cells as a urinary waste nitrogenous waste that is transferred to the kidney to excrete out also blood absorb or after digestion nutrients are absorbed into the blood and that nutrients are transported to all cells of the body through blood thus blood help in transport of all the components within the body which are required in the target organ so hormones secreted by the gland endocrine gland are transported from gland to the target organ for their action thus that blood is a important component in our body for the transport mechanism or everything that is required at an every place so let us understand plus composition of the blood blood is composed of two main part liquid part is called plasma liquid part is called plasma and solid part is called corpuscles or forming element corpuscles or formed element or forming element formed elements plasma about 55% of the total blood is plasma and 45% of the total blood is corpuscles what plasma is a liquid part and since it has maximum of component that is water water is about 92 92% is water 92 92% is water in its composition as a inorganic material also consist of oxygen carbon dioxide minerals like calcium magnesium chlorine sodium and carbonate bicarbonate in small quantity it consists of 6 to 8% protein it consists of organic material organic material in its composition as this was the inorganic material it can be it is a inorganic material so organic material that includes protein this protein are 6 to 8% of total plasma is protein what that protein are fibrinogen fibri no gen that help in blood coagulation help in blood clotting albumin that help to maintain the osmotic concentration osmotic concentration and third is globulin globulin provide immunity it provide immunity so see this three protein that has different role fibrinogen help in blood coagulation albumin osmotic maintenance of osmotic concentration maintenance of osmotic concentration of the blood 
and globulin that help in immunity. Along with this protein, it consists of some amount of glucose, amino acids, cholesterol, cholesterol, <coughs> urea, uric acid that is supposed transferred as an organic material. So, urea, uric acid and so on, hormones and enzymes, hormones and enzymes. This is in small quantity, but most of the content of this plasma as an organic material is 6 to 8 percent of protein. Inorganic component water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, minerals and salt. These are the inorganic component are in composition of the plasma. So please remember for the neat point of view that it consists of 6 to 8 percent of protein. What proteins are? Fibrinogen, albumin, globulin, these three protein and in, there, in this composition, water is about 90 to 90 percent, it's very important. As a part of carpuscles, carpuscles are of three major types, erythrocytes, RBCs, leukocytes, are also known as WBCs, white blood corpuscles because they are colorless, RBC because they are red color, red color, red blood cells and platelets. Now, <coughs> these platelets are also known as thrombocytes, thrombocytes, erythrocytes, RBC. These RBCs are of they are so called red blood cells because they have hemoglobin. This hemoglobin is about 15 to 16 gram, depends 12 to 15 gram per 100 ml of blood. It consists of hemoglobin, hemoglobin that is about 12 to 15 gram, milligram. RBC, they are unucleated, they are unucleated, they are biconcave, they are in biconcave shape, they live for 120 days, their life is 120 days, they produce in bone marrow from a special tissue called hemopoietic tissue, Hemo poetic tissue from bone marrow, from bone marrow, homopoietic tissue. By the process of hemopoiesis, that process of production of RBC is hemopoiesis. Now, this RBC number is around 5 to 6 millions, 5 to 6 millions per cubic millimeter of blood, per cubic millimeter of blood. To remember it, here once again I write, their number is 5 to 6 million per cubic millimeter of blood. This is to be remembered as a point of need. Here, when they die, they carry oxygen, carry oxygen and some amount of carbon dioxide and some amount of CO2. When they die, dead RBCs, dead RBCs are degenerated, degenerated in spleen and hence Spleen, hence it's called as graveyard. Graveyard of RBC. 
that RBC, which are dead RBC, later transferred it to the liver, where they converted into bilirubin and bilirubin. That dead RBCs transfer, and this process is hemolysis. Dead RBCs in liver, dead RBCs in liver converted into bilirubin. and bilirubin so this is to be remember this is a composition and information about the rbcs it's here that is rbcs are red blood because of they are having hemoglobin the amount of hemoglobin in blood is 12 to 15 mg per 100 ml of blood they are unnucleated initially they are nucleated but later that nucleus get degenerated and now they are biconclave, full with hemoglobin. The main function is to carry the oxygen. RBC do not use oxygen because all the organelles get degenerated and therefore mitochondria also degenerated. Therefore, they do not have process of respiration. That is the point of need that they do not use oxygen. Question Atai, one of the following cells, they do not use oxygen. They carry oxygen but do not use oxygen. Since organelles are degenerated and respiration is not going on means the process of breakdown of glucose molecule to yield the energy by using oxygen is not occurring in RBC. They live for 120 days and that is 20 days is their life. So then they get die. When they get die, they get degenerated in spleen and therefore spleen is known as grave yard of RBC. The dead RBC later transferred to the liver where they converted into bilirubin and bilirubin. That pigments are later excrete out through our excreta. Here, <coughs> very important is that this process of production of RBC is occurring bone marrow, and that process is known as hemopoiesis. Thus, RBCs are producing bone marrow. Now, second type of these blood cells are WBC. They are out six to eight thousand. They are 6,000 to 8,000 per cubic millimeter of blood. They are colorless. They don't have color. Therefore, white blood corpuscles. They are soldier of our body. Main function is there that they provide immunity. And they are of following type. A granulocyte and granulocyte. A granulocyte. Granulocyte. And granulocyte. Granulocyte. See, our granulocytes are of two types. They are monocyte and lymphocyte. Monocytes and lymphocytes. And these granulocytes are of three types. That basophil, acidophil and neutrophil. So neutrophil, acidophil and basophil. So, why they are agranulocyte? Because monocytes, they have kidney shaped nucleus and they are very large in size. Lymphocytes, they have large size nucleus as compared to that cell. This neutrophil, they have multi lobe nucleus. They have multi lobe nucleus and having granular cytoplasm. Acidophil, they have bilobed nucleus with granular cytoplasm and this basophil they have s shaped nucleus with granular cytoplasm this is what classification of these blood cells these lymphocytes monocytes lymphocytes and neutrophil they are phagocytic in nature and they provide immunity to the body they engulf the foreign material these lymphocytes are of three types it can be they are B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. They are two major types. B lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, and T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes. Further, these T lymphocytes are of helper T cell, killer T cell, and suppressor T cells. Helper T cell help B cell to produce the antibody. Killer T cell kill pathogen, and suppressor T cell suppresses autoimmunity. And that is what function of this one. Basophil that produces anti heparin serotonin that produces heparin serotonin at the time of allergy so basophil has a separate role 
when we have allergy in response to that basophil produces serotonin heparin and histamine so that is very important as against allergy basophil produces serotonin histamine and heparin basophil also produces pyrogen wbc is also produces pyrogen against the antibodies when we have that antibody antigen reaction to raise the body temperature so wbc therefore altogether said that they provide immunity or they are soldier of our body as they protect our body against the pathogen now these platelets can be understand on these wbcs where they produce they produce in bone marrow from leukopoietic tissue as this rbc produce in bone marrow from hemopoietic tissue so platelet thrombocytes also produce from the special cell present in bone marrow so thrombocytes also known as platelets these thrombocytes produce from special cell called megakaryocytes or megakaryoblast they are about 150000 to 3 lakh per cubic milliliter of blood they are produced from special cell called megakaryocytes mega karyocytes of bone marrow they they have no definite shape without definite shape they are without definite shape because they are platelet without definite shape <coughs> as they are the fragments as they are the fragments of mega karyocyte or mega karyoblast mega karyocytes their function is help in blood coagulation help in help in blood coagulation because at the site of injury this thrombocyte produce thromboplastin that catalyze the process of conversion of prothrombin as a soluble protein into active thrombin further this thrombin convert soluble protein fibrinogen into fibrin and thus that fibrin form the mesh at the site of injury to attack the dead rbc and cause the blood so finally when thrombin act on fibrinogen fibrinogen being soluble protein in plasma converted into insoluble form called fibrin fiber these fibers form mesh around mesh around and in that injury and help to attack dead rbc or blood cells to form the coagulation and thus that oozing of blood is stopped thus this platelet help in clotting of blood so we did learn about composition of blood with their liquid and solid part liquid as a plasma solid as a corpuscles we learn in detail about this composition including all these cells but see the percent is given in chart it is given in book also neutrophil at are at the highest number among the wbcs they are of 60 to 65% and least basophil 0.5 to 1% question can be asked or question pen ki given one of the following is the correct sequence in the decreasing order of their concentration in blood so highest neutrophil second lymphocyte 20 to 25% and then monocyte 6 to 8% eosinophil 2 to 3% and basophil 0.1% so n l m e b n l m e b so this is very important n l m e b n means neutrophil l means lymphocyte m monocyte e eosinophil and basophil this would be in a decreasing order of their concentration can be remember as n l m e b if question is asked yes in neat it can be asked because it is given in book clearly percentage of each one and therefore question can be so we did understand composition of blood in detail even if you are in doubt you can ask in comment section i appeal you to subscribe our channel and like it as well as press bell icon to receive your videos as and when they are uploaded thank you